There you go. Snow globe. My daughter has a snow globe. Yeah. Uh, when I was in Switzerland, she has a snow globe and has all the, the cowbells. So in Switzerland, the, they do the Almach trip, they call it. So in, they have a time in the in the year where they bring all the cows up to the oh, meadows okay. and then a time where they bring them all down. Yeah. So they all have their big bells underneath their, ah. uh, their throat so you can hear them where they are. Right. And um, not grown up in Switzerland but in Germany and we also had something similar where the farmer brought the cows every morning to the to the fields and every evening they came down. So this is what my brother gave me for my wedding. That's my, <laughs> that's my little uh, oh, very reminder nice. to where I grew up. Yeah. Can I fit? Sure, yeah. It's, it's probably it's just, just a yeah. good old welding. <laughs> yes, excellent. Yeah. Ring the bell. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Very good. A little bit of uh, countryside story. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. get you to stand a little bit just on either side of the map. Yes. Yeah. Maybe a little bit closer. Samuel. Perfect. There you go. Beautiful. So we need we need to send a trailer to Ireland. Someone in Ireland to buy a trailer. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to be able to put a map, a pin, right in, in Ireland there. Yeah. So you have four call, you have four video tours today. Yeah, so today we had four one on ones. Wow. And um, yeah. yeah, that was good. We had uh, we had um, Lisa and Joey. Welcome to the family. You managed to grab the last 21 and E. Congratulations to that. Um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you here soon or, or delivering. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. Uh, we had two for the 19 foot. So if you're looking if you're watching us today, um, welcome. And then Janet was looking at the fifth gear. Yeah, so we, um, Janet, we had a little shorter there because we were still working on the unit. Right. But uh, yeah, it was quite intense and uh, good feedback. And um, uh, one of the feedback I got today was um, a very nice one, actually. He said we have a very good reputation and that's why, why he can imagine that people actually purchase a unit in a way unseen. Mm. They see the unit by us doing the one-on-one, -on -one, but they're actually not able to touch it and to step into it. And so again, big thank you to all the ambassadors out there in our escape forum that spread the word and, and kind of tell the story who we are. Yeah. And drive their billboards all over uh, yes. all over North America. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so many people get just comment after comment and question after question from people when they're just, just driving their trailer down the road and they pull it in and then people are asking them yes. about the escape, uh, escape trailer. So yeah, we're working hard to grow the brand and, and the yeah. visibility of the product, the quality of the product all across the United States and Canada uh, for sure. So yeah, I think it's, uh, man, our, um, our new leads or the contacts of people who kind of come to the website and, and sign up is it's just going crazy. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, We've, been, we've done so much work over the last over the last year really on just marketing the brand and making people very aware yeah. of what a great a great trailer yeah. um, the escape makes and um, and how great people are yeah well yes and we appreciate you calling in don't be shy asking questions mm. pick up the phone um, what works quite well is to book an appointment with me on the one-on-one -on -one, whether you just need a call or want to see a unit this way I can block a spot for you and have time for you. And um, yeah. yeah, one of our customers, Gary, if you, if you watch us today, I was very pleased to get your call. Thank you very much. Hope we can help you out as well. Yeah, yeah, good. And if Tom is there, Tom Martin, I had a, a chat with Tom, Tom today about some of the stuff we were doing yesterday. Tom has a 19 on order. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, way down there in Florida. Way down there. Yes, <laughs> yeah. In Florida, but yeah, so we had a great chat, and, and thank you, thank you for that. Although it was telling me all about Cleveland at the same time, right up, uh, well, right there is a green marker, right in, yeah. in Cle that is green, isn't it? Yeah, right in Cleveland, which is really, really very cool. Yeah, we had uh, 
one from Red Deer today, Hans. Hope you're joining us today. Hans. Uh, Hans and Nancy will show you um, the height of the unit, get a good perspective inside. Oh, okay. And then again, we had California today as well. They live on the sunny side of life, right yeah. down here. Yeah. Yeah. A bit like us. Yeah. Yeah, the sun's out again here, although the clouds are dark. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, I had a call with a couple of calls from people today in Texas, mm -hmm. the Texas area. And well, guys, that's 3.30. 3.30, okay, well. See some introductions. Carl Kenny, president of the Escape Trader. And my name is Samuel Schneebeli. I work in sales and business administration. And I, mm, you can see yourself. I'm Harrison Kenny. There you Here. go. Okay. Cameraman today. And every day. And every day. <laughs> what we do if we didn't have our cameraman it might be a bit more challenging. I even just trying to do the camera work yesterday was, was okay. Was awkward. <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of awkward. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to Escape Trader. Uh, welcome to our live stream. Um, in case you've missed it, we did live stream last Friday and we're going to live stream Monday and Tuesday of this week and each day we were doing a different trailer and our plan is to do um, uh, every trailer in our catalogue up until Friday. So today is the 19, tomorrow is a 17. Today is the 21. Yesterday was the 19. Today is the 21. I'm yeah. thinking of Tom. <laughs> this is 19. So today is a 21 classic, yeah. uh, which was the original layout for the 21. And then of course we introduced the, the 21 in the configuration of the 19, which we call the 21 NE. And uh, I think we're also trying to figure out what the NE part actually means. New Escape, next edition, New edition, next escape, yeah. and new, whatever it might be. But anyway, you know, that name is stuck and, and that's what we've stuck with going forward. So the 21 classic is today and tomorrow. 17A tomorrow yeah. and then 17D and we may have a different location when we do the 17A mm -hmm. because um, it's not actually the short yeah. uh, type, type unit. So we'll do that. Um, and all those uh, all those previous streams, Harrison, they're all up on YouTube, where do you find them? Twitch. You find them on YouTube, Twitch. Would it, are, they, are they on our website? They're on our you can click a link on the live stream page. Click a link and on the link page and I'll take yeah. you back. Yeah, so if you came here and you really want to see the 19, we did the 19 yesterday, you can always jump back in and roll back into the 19. But a lot of the systems and a lot of the values of the Escape trailer are kind of the same regardless of the, the model of the product you have. They just change in terms of size, length, and in terms of some of the options that we can, we can add into those trailers. Um, I guess you know the, the key point to, to note if you're first time in this live stream or you're new to Escape, Escape is a validated options manufacturer. So we validate every option that we're going to put into a, to a trailer, and we have lots and lots of options. We have more options than any other manufacturer. It's getting way ahead of me these days. <laughs> so there we are. Okay. Here's the unit that we're looking at today. 21 Classic. So actually I can show you a vertical view from up top. Okay. Okay, I have a feeling Hank wants to be in the uh, company in dog. The live stream. Hank is our dog, in case you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he might not be in it today. Okay, so I just want to start with this one off. Yesterday, um, I can't remember, somebody asked us a question about the about the hitch that we have. So this is the this is the E2 or the Fastway E2 hitch. And this one has uh, this is kind of the be all and end all of hitches that, that we we provide, so it gives you a built-in sway control, as um, as well as equalization in it. Uh, sometimes this this part of the hitch here is not long enough for your trailer, or because of sorry, it's not long enough because of the height of your um, hitch from the ground. So if that's the case, then we do have longer ones that we can that we can use um, to get you to the right height. Okay, wonderful. We're all back again. So we'll finish, with, we'll finish off with that. This is our 21 Classic. Just a couple of things for the newcomers that we want to say about the Escape, the escape Trailer. It's a one-piece fiberglass built unit. It, uh, it will not leak. 
um, it resists all the forces of the road. So if you can imagine, we make the make the bottom first or the top. It doesn't really matter. We, we make the boat pieces that kind of as it rolls down through the production line, uh, one after the other. And then while they're still in the mold, we put the two pieces together. We seam up all on the inside, so it's a beautiful, beautiful one piece structure. And then we take it out of the mold, and it goes onto the chassis from there. So very strong, beautifully built, will not leak structure. And you can imagine. The, the, the strategy is we have a very solid exterior. If we have a solid exterior, all the forces that are acting on your trailer as it's going down the road are really trying to tear it apart, twisting it, bending it in different ways. Um, and they, they, they won't act on, on the escape. So they're not gonna tear the escape apart. And a solid exterior means a solid interior. And a solid interior means that it will simply last, last longer. It makes for a much better investment uh, year over year for you. Okay, so what we'll do in this one, like we've done in our previous live streams, is we'll just take a quick walk around the exterior of this trailer, point out some of the uh, features and options that it has, and then we'll jump to the inside, so you can have a good look at the, at the inside. And this layout is quite different to pretty much all the other layouts we've seen so far. Um, and we'll get into that when we, when we go through it. And we're going to make a bed today. Yes. Or the bed is made, yeah. and we're going to show people how we sort of reset the, the dinette area for people on it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's walk around the exterior. Well, yes. Since we're starting at the, we've started at the rear of pretty much all these, going forward. You know, previously. So we'll start off with this one. So the Escape Twenty One. Um, Escape Twenty One has a dinette in the rear, and the bed is up the front. Um, and then the bathroom is actually on this side. So we'll see that, and that's why this window is a short window because it cannot extend into the into the bathroom. So this is our rock guard window for the front. It has the optional storage box on this one, as we've seen before. And in this case, the batteries are at the rear, underneath the dinette. So a fully open storage box in the Escape 21 Classic. Two pound propane tanks sitting in underneath with an automatic Change over on here. This one has a motorized jack on it with its light. Seven pin plug and a nice little holder. Okay, as we move through, um, again, frameless windows. So frameless windows in all the escape trailer are double glazed, insulated or insulated windows. Um, you know, very nice aesthetic in the frameless windows. We covered framed windows yesterday in the escape, in the escape 19. Frameless windows are all top hinge. So they all open from the, from the top. And these larger ones are split. So you can have a split window on the sides and on the on the side and on the rear of this trailer. Okay, good. As we move down, let's move down and across. So this will be the the uh, kind of the outlets side of it. This one has a storage or sorry external um, hatch. And this is underneath the bed. Lots of storage space in there. Okay, very good. We have the optional exterior shower on this side. So it's nice to have hot and cold water supply on the external of the, of the trailer. It gives you a great option for if you're barbecuing outside, you want to wash dishes or wash the meat or the vegetables or whatever it is you have, or even wash the dirt off your, your feet or your dog's feet or your children, <laughs> potentially on the outside. Okay, as we move forwards then, um, I will start at the bottom here. So we have our dump valves, our gray and our black, all through a common port, so we don't have to move our hose, move our hose around. This is our uh, water heater. So that's the vent for that. Uh, when we're dumping, of course, we have an exterior light. We can see what we're doing. On this side, we have the 
connection to cable TV. Pan the axle, which creates a very nice stable towing experience. Torsion bar axles underneath, underneath here, so you know, very low maintenance with the exception of greasing up your your um, your bearings on there. This is our heater vent, propane heater. This is our fridge. So we have our fridge intake and our fridge vent actually at the top. Our water connections. This one we have another exterior hatch which then shows you the storage underneath all the way through the dinette area. And the bottom we have our sewer tube holder and people often put on an extra sewer tube holder or an extra piece of pipe to put fishing rods and other items, maybe you know, small gazebos or tents or things that they want to, want to want to carry. You can slide up inside here if you can fit them. This unit has the, this is an option, which is the uh, removable power cord. And a nice feature of this removable power cord is that it stops any little bugs or critters getting inside. All escapes come with a bumper on the rear. Can't really go around the back of this unit, but we can see the bumper on the rear. And then obviously a full-sized spare tire. And we see the split rear windows. This unit also has a, this one also has a backup camera in place. Solar panel on top and air conditioning as well. Now we walk away back around to the other side. Okay, so the optional bathroom window in here, frosted for privacy. And part of the personalization you can achieve with an escape is you can color this decal. So you can have this, this decal in a multitude of different colors. We have a range of colors that are standard and then something more exotic, um, you know, will cost a little bit more because they'll have to bring in special, special, um, special uh, tape or special decal material, would be the best way to say it. On this one, we also have a power awning. And the power awning is a very nice feature, um, particularly useful for um, warmer climates or if it's much more sunny, it has a very large area on it and very easy obviously to uh, deploy and retract. On this trailer again, we have the exterior propane connection. Very handy again for barbecuing or having a fire pit in place. So we could run the barbecue off of that side. This one we have the two step on. Uh, this is one of the one of the earlier doors. This door opens at 90 degrees. Whereas the newer doors open, open up a little bit way. wider. Yeah, yeah, a little bit wider than that. And that's just the way the doors the door. So it's on data. We're a little bit choppier on data, though. Is okay, problem. but we back. Hopefully, right. you can see us. Sorry, guys. We had some technical issues there with our mobile devices. Happens. <laughs> I guess that's what happens with live streams. But I guess we're back again. Let me get a signal off the chat. Yeah, we're back. They can see us. We're back. All right. We apologize, guys. This is the. I guess this is the the, uh, the fact of life with live streaming. But we'll continue nonetheless. Okay. So this door has the standard um, standard latch on it, with the option, of course, being the keyless entry that a person can have. So that's going to work out really well. Grab handle, making it easy to get in and out. If we can also put another grab handle lower down on this on this side. Uh, because there is, of course, the grab handle on the inside with the pole, which we'll have a look at when we go inside. Porch light, 
on and off. Turn that off because it just gets in my eyes. Um, as we move down the side on this one, again we have that uh, exterior shower connection on the on this side. Again, very handy for you. Can see, you can imagine, totally imagine, you have your propane set up, your barbecue or your fire pit, you know, probably your barbecue set up, and then your table set up with the basin. Wash everything, move it, cook it, deploy to family, keep moving on. So that's a very nice, uh, that's a very nice feature. All right, as we move back forwards, back on this one, your standard 120 volt. And then we're all almost down towards towards the rear. Oh, this is one of the only ones that we have in the showroom that has that has the 12 volt and USB option on the exterior. And this is the location that it typically goes underneath the uh, the rear signal light. So that's pretty much the exterior exterior of this unit. Um, it's a beautiful unit. Very nice. It just bosses up so lovely, so lovely. Good. Okay, so I think our plan now is we'll uh, take a quick walk down through the inside and Samuel will give you a rundown on all the, the space and the items that are that are inside. Okay. And I'll jump on the bed so we can see, there you go. Yes. We can see how, big it, uh, how big it is. So, uh, yeah, first up, the height. Um, Val is about six foot three and a half. I'm just short of six foot. So if I stand straight, you get an idea. And if I go underneath the air conditioning, so that will be, will be me standing straight at just short of six feet. And here is me. Yeah, that's yes. six foot three and a quarter, a half ish thereabouts. So I'm pretty. Yeah, this is very comfortable for me. No problem yeah. at all. And uh, most of the time I stand kind of like this. To look right down here. at me. Not me. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this yeah. unit here, um, you may have noticed uh, the dinette in the rear. So that's uh, we set this up to give you an idea how this looks when the bed is made. So just imagine yourself having a sheet on here, um, nice comfortable bed. These cushions, they fit nicely in here, they don't move. So that's, that's a good size bed and we'll later build that back up to, to a dinette. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pointing this out because dinette in the rear means view. So you're backing up into a campground, maybe a lake or so. That's where you're looking out. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Towards the front, you see our kitchen. This particular floor plan, because we have the bed as kind of a corner bed, we have room for a large kitchen. This is the largest kitchen of all, all the escape trailer. Yeah. 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 So the 21 definitely is the largest kitchen of all the escape. All the escape trailers. So that's what your that's what the person is looking for. It's got ample space all the way, all the way through here. And what we do find customers doing is is we'll find customers replacing the, the standard style stainless sink, and they'll take they'll get a larger sink, mm -hmm. and they'll take the sink and probably because this is the maximum width you can kind of go on it uh, this way, uh, but you can go we can go wider wider on this side so you can see length and width but um this is called this dimension is the max you can do here but people will get yeah, things that are are longer and sometimes those things we kind of have to rotate them so they fit they fit better in the drain hole in a sort of odd looking position but yeah. still works just just fine so we get some people beautiful things this is the perfect unit to to go putting a bigger sink into yeah and we often see double sinks i've seen people with double sinks in a unit like this um beautiful beautiful actually i really like this uh, it's for Micah and layout and uh, combination that we have. We have in this actually shout out to Joldy. It was Joldy who Joldy was the one who came up with the the different combinations. Um, thank you, thank you. Joldy came up with the with the different combinations for us and shows all the you know the the I think six of the seven if I'm right. Seven Joldy. By now, yeah. Yeah, we have seven, but we kind of had one um, one kind of one set up previously with two different. Uh, Two different countertops, uh, which we which we have retained. So yeah, thank you, Jolie. Jolie was the one who came up with all these different ones, and then we made them standard, so that the person can choose from seven standard flooring for mica or fabrics. And then, of course, if you want to personalize it even further, you can choose your own, and then we'll have it delivered to us, and we'll install it for you. So Escape is all about personalization. It really is all about being your choice. Yeah, your choice, not 
that's not Tano's choice. Your choice when you're building your trailer. Absolutely. <laughs> but everybody else's choice until that. Oh, by the way, so this is Maple. Whether we haven't seen an oak trailer yet, we'll see one of those in a couple of days. That's 17 B is oak. So again, we're in a maple, a maple trailer. And one thing you will notice with all the escape product is that all our doors are solid wood, and then of course all the construction is is grade A lumber on the structure on the inside, which is um, you know it's actually good. Lots and lots of storage space, and we'll open everything up so people can see. We didn't get our yard stick today. Jim, but we will we will get that and get some better photos so people get an appreciation but we'll nearly lose samuel in there if he keeps going with his arm just to give you an idea how deep that is so yeah. there's lots of pots and pans will go right in there yeah so the kitchen the large countertop basically is reflected in all of this storage as well here yeah lots of pull out space lots of storage in the escape 21 classic Let's just show these two bottom. Yeah, these two guys somewhere. here, for sure. Sorry, Carson, let me get your way. So this one here, if you had an oven, three burner oven, that's where this space would be used for. With the standard two burner cooktop, you have that extra space for, so like, live, live stream, right? <laughs> the extra space for, um, for all these pots and pans and, and dishes. More up front, on top. Again, something we love to point out is the storage uh, goes all the way to the very back. So we use every little nook that we can to make sure that space is utilized well. Thank you, Harrison. Uh, and then with a big, with a big uh, fridge. A big kitchen comes a big fridge. So in this one here, we see our six foot cubic fridge. Uh, I love that we have the separate freezer compartment here. So you can do some, uh, some serious freezing up there. There's chocolate, there it is. <laughs> and that's the, the space in your fridge. And more um, space here. Again, a very deep one. This one is the one that we can put in a microwave for you. You can see in there, there's wiring for the microwave there. And now this one is an excellent cabinet. So just give you an idea. I could I could actually go in there in terms of space. You see the size of this fella. And then you'll have a look inside. There's loads and loads of room right there. Continue down here. You'll find it one of the most spacious when it comes to storage. Underneath here, underneath this fridge. And then it continues underneath your heater outlet. And then above we have more. And basically it keeps going. More and more and more. And uh, all across up here. All the way to the back, and Carl is demonstrating us the bed. Some might say I'm lying down on the job. Right, yeah. So what? six foot three and a half, and you see his feet here. Yeah. The... yeah. No, this is this is lovely. I I think we'd have I would have no issue no issue in here with another me yeah. on this side. Yeah. You know, quite spacious, lovely, and um, I really do like the captain's lights in these locations here. Um, very easy to sort of turn off and then not all to sleep. Of course, everything seems to be very accessible. So, so from this space, of course, I can I can pull my blinds, pull my blinds up or down, even if I want in the middle of the night or any time. Access my windows, open the window for a little bit more more ventilation. It's neatly, of course, on this side the the rock guard window is always a fixed window. So there's an opening this one, but I can also, you know, pull this down at night time if I, if I like. And we have the optional speakers in this in this unit, so we can have some relaxing sounds while we're while we're in the bedroom in the bedroom area. But otherwise, it's very comfortable. These beds are very comfortable. A very nice bed. Show the storage space. Oh, lots, and lots of storage space. You see that rock guard goes up. There's the rock guard. Thank you, Samuel. It's a nice thick bed. I think it's very comfortable. Very good. There. Okay, we point out some of the some of the electrical stuff here, Harrison. So the uh, mostly we have our 
12 volt and USB on the inside here. Uh, some of these are optional, so 12 volt USB and then the 120 volt here as well. This can be, this can have a window over here in this location as an option. And I believe, and Jolie will confirm this, but I believe this can also run run right up to the top as well as a full as a full height. Something that people love in the Escape in the Escape Twenty One Classic are these little cubby holes over right beside the bathroom. Well, these cubby holes are really really handy for for um, those other items you want to store. While we're here, we can show you the bathroom. And then the bathroom area. Okay, so shall we do our uh, personnel test? Absolutely. Inside the bathroom. I'm sure this is the time where people will ask, what socks are you wearing today? What socks have I got on today? Um, I don't know. I can't. Are these my? Are these yellow or green? They're yellow. Yeah. They're yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. They're kind of green, but I think they came like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to clean them. <laughs> okay. So into the bathroom area. A little bit of a different entry for me. A little bit of a different entry than our other um, than our other bathrooms. The other ones I can kind of walk walk into almost straight through. This one I kind of turn a little bit sideways, sideways to get into. But once I'm inside, um, kind of feels feels very similar, quite comfortable, fairly deep bathroom. So a very nice and easy space for me to sort of clean off, and wash, and do what I need to what I need to do. Again, with a very handy window on the side so this, this space works really well so i'm running about 280 pounds six foot three and a half at this point so you can see this this works for me um vent vent fans obviously back here in the rear and then we have our little medicine cabinet in there as well okay um, my turn okay samuel's turn so you'll see the size size difference between the two of us now you can get a sense of what he looks like in the, the so bathroom you mentioned it's deep and it is deeper this it one. is deeper yeah, yeah. so yeah. you got a lot of space get more space when you're back so that's it got that light up here just the light up there and this is how it looks your bit um with the window open also you notice that a bed like this you have various ways of getting in and out. You can go in from that side here, like that, or you can go out this direction. So if your partner is still asleep, you can go out this way and don't have to climb over her or him. Mm -hmm. So that's more options. Mm -hmm. And where Carl is kneeling down, you see that compartment right there. We can reach it from various angles. Notice, and there's something to be very careful of here, which I'll point out in a second. So, see what Samuel has just done there, where he's lifted this, where he's lifted this up. If you were to have, if you leave this leaning against against this and then pull it down, it can potentially damage your um, your mattress. Right. So, you just need to be a little cautious when using this, uh, mm -hmm. this door. There we go. Put a nice big solid solid bedroom area obviously another course the option an option for even an even larger countertop is to put the countertop extension on which many people do uh, something we pointed out on the fifth wheel when we deployed the power awning the other day is that on this side harrison we have the uh power for the for the awning so this isolates the power awning turns it off cannot open um, when you're driving down the road so so you're in your final in your final check before you you, you pack up and, and move off you retract your awning and you turn it off okay oh sorry off <laughs> <laughs> not on you turn it off I turned it off very good okay so that's this space um, I think you guys already looked at all the yeah, all the drawer space we had in there. here and of course our heater our heater is on on this thing side, is the I saw some people, especially down in when we were down in in Pine Knot last year at the at the rally in Pine Knot. Uh, quite a few people living full time in the Escape Twenty One Classic, um, and they have done some wonderful modifications mm -hmm. to the unit and made it into um, just a wonderfully uh, homey space. You know, really, it, it kind of takes that tiny home idea 
and um, put it on wheels and you know turn into a wonderful a wonderful space for people okay so i i, I think i'll i'll um i'll go ahead and put this back together again okay, very good. it'll be easier if i just do it on my yeah I'll on my, your questions if you need on my own so let's move move this out so maybe while we're doing that carl let's show the under storage under the benches oh okay before i uh, deploy the yeah while we're messing yeah. around here, so that will be one. Oh, sorry, Harrison. Okay, so you see under the cushions there. The one area there. Why don't you stick your arm or something down there, Carl, so we can see kind of a little bit of. Oops, there. So deep that. it is. Right up, just underneath my elbow. Well, my finger. So if I close my fist, it's all the way to my elbow, which is that long, that long there. Just a good, a good length. Right. Okay, the disconnect switch is over on that side, as we can see, after we disconnect. And we're going to go through all the electrical in another live stream, and maybe more so when we do the live stream orientation, which we're planning to do for this, for this Friday, for people. Okay, so take all of that out, and oh, there they are. Poles are normally up here, so they're down here today. Take this unit now. Everyone seems to have a different approach to doing the table. Um, I will do it this way this time. I've done it multiple ways. Just like that. See how easy that is to do. Oops. Tell me, this one, the cushion is harder. No, we can say it will be better. Be able to show the storage. Miss the storage over on this side. Right. These have a locking mechanism, which Carl is just opening the uh, slider. Ah, uh, there we go. Slide it across. And then on this side. There we go, Harrison. Can you see in there? This one has a hard time focusing. Battery box at the back. This one has an inverter in place. So the inverter is there. Okay. Lots of storage. Lots of storage space. Very nice. Okay. So then we'll show the storage space above. And then grab my uh, laptop. Lots of storage space. Yes, indeed. So like Carl said, this indeed. is where your holes could go. Of course, the speaker's in place on this one. Okay. As, as you can see, lots of storage in this unit. Sam, if you just want to sit in the dinette for yep. us, people can get an idea of the space there while Carl gets his laptop. Well, while we have this little bit of time, Samuel, why don't you, oh yeah, why don't you tell us about, um, about how the one-on-ones have been going? And maybe tell, if people don't know what they are, tell them what the one-on-ones are. Yes, yeah, so the one-on-one -on -one really came about with uh, one of our customers, um, his name is Glade. So he, he phoned in, we looked at a unit and the, the concern was that he couldn't be here physically and see the unit. So we started this whole thing with WhatsApp and uh, we felt that's a really good way actually of being a little bit more personal and going to that very unit that the customer is interested. So we are doing it now predominantly with Zoom, but we also have been using Signal and uh, we can use different different uh, applications that you would like to work with. And then we'll set you up and we'll bring you to the unit and uh, walk you through. And uh, any specific questions you have, we will we will open the drawers and figure them out together. And uh, whatever whatever I will not be able to answer usually goes to Melissa. She's our inventory specialist, or Doldi and Linda, who will help you with a custom build unit. But 
what that is. Yeah. Yeah, the virtual tours, I mean, the, the one-on-one tours are just so much more personal yeah. for people. And, and the great thing is, of course, we have the audio on both ways. Yes. So we can, you know, so people can say, hey, open that, put your hand in, put your head in, yeah. <laughs> climb in, whatever it is, you know, so we can see how big, how big the space of things are or how things work even. At times, yes. you know, as well as some things, we can't obviously learn everything, but we can we can try really hard on um, different things. Um, you know, CPA Harley, they're a great idea. A lot of people do use totes, mm-hmm. so they put totes into these spaces just because you do have wires and yeah, and different things. So put totes in for your storage, mm-hmm. which is uh, which is very handy. Um, oh, and uh, thank you, Joey. She gave you a very similar answer. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, well, I think we're. You know, we're kind of getting through the 21 classic. I recommend if you, if this is the first time you've been on this live stream, um, go back and have a look at some of the other live streams we've done as well. I and mean, we talk about lots of different things in, in different depths and and details. Um, and if you're if a specific unit that you're interested in, we've already done the 21NE. Yeah. We've done the fifth wheel, 19. Now we're in the 21 classic. And then tomorrow it'll be the 17A. And then on Friday, 17B, yeah. assuming I've got that, assuming I've got that right, so they'll be fun. Mm-hmm. They're fun little trailers to, uh, yes. to go into, and we might be, we might be size challenged in those a little bit more so, especially if the three of us are trying to yes. sort of work around in in that area. But for this size of trailer, you know, that's quite, I mean, look at this space. Yeah, good. Mm-hmm. This yeah. Is, look at this space. It's just fantastic. There's also something about the one-on-one, like this particular table is our standard table, but if you would like to see a Springfield pedestal, we mm-hmm. can just hop out over to the next unit and find one with that table and show you how that works. So it's very, very interactive. So if you have time, make use of it. My calendar is basically open for bookings and you'll find that one-on-one tour on the same page where you found a virtual tour today. Yeah, very good. Very good. So we're just asking that you maybe scroll up a little bit in the chat. There are some questions from earlier. Oh wow! You can get to. So I oh actually no they're coming back. Oh they're not. So I've lost. I don't have the questions. Okay, I can. Yeah, I don't. I, all I have is I starts at uh, starts at CPA Harley with the plastic tubs for storage. Okay, I can relay them to you. That's the first um, one I can see. So uh, yeah, in the storage areas under the bench and bed, you need to be concerned about items shifting, wet in motion, and possibly hitting the wiring or hoses, etc. So that was kind of answered. I think Jim, that's where Jim, yeah, so I, I, that was the answer to the question. Obviously, that Jim had answered the question. CPA already had answered the question that uh, so then, that I didn't um, see there. If you order a trailer, uh, Joel, you did get to this, but maybe you can get into it in a bit more detail. Uh, if you order a trailer, how long before it can be picked up? Um, so typically, you can order for any time for the rest of the year. We're, we're saying August at the moment. So I think it's like August 10th and a few of those have already been booked. We've been booking like crazy this week. So um, August 10th sort of onwards is where you can book right up until the end of December. If you want right now, place a deposit, book a production slot. Um, typically we like to say, if you're doing a custom build, allow yourself four months between order and completion, production completion. And what that does is it gives you a solid month to Really ask questions on the forum, ask questions on Escape Travel Trailers, and ask questions from Joldy or Linda or Melissa or for Samuel. And to determine what sort of options you need for your trailer. So that gives you a good solid month. And and the key point there is if you are choosing to do um, custom fabric, uh, specifically custom fabric, not so much the Formica and the flooring, they, we can get those a lot quicker. But if you're choosing to do this custom fabric and you, and you intend on sending that to us, we need that in our possession three months beforehand because it has to go to our our manufacturer so we can make your cushions up and bring them back in time so four months is a recommendation we can move a little quicker if you know exactly what you want place your order and get in then you can be right on the verge of of three months mm-hmm. um, but you would have to move you have to move very fast or jolly this and they'll be chasing you down your configuration signed off and maybe on this one, if you do decide uh, an inventory unit might be for you, you see on the product inventory, the button uh, with our available units, we're looking at maybe anywhere between, I'd say one and three weeks for that. For inventory yeah. units, yeah. Um, and it really depends on, mm-hmm. on the, it, it, you know, the why it's so different, right? Because um, someone has just asked me a question there, Tom and Penny, um, you know, can I order an inventory today and have it delivered tomorrow? 
we can't move that quickly. <laughs> so what we like to do is if you order an inventory trailer, we're going to pull that inventory trailer out of, out of our storage. We're going to put it back to a full pre-delivery inspection and testing regime. Even though it's been tested at the end of the production line before we ship anything out, it all goes back to testing again. All the water systems, everything gets retested. We fully clean it up. We want this thing to be absolutely beautiful yeah. when it comes to you. Then from a delivery perspective, we have to schedule up with the transporter you know, to get that moving. And that could take us anything up to two weeks to sort of get organized to get it on a, on a transport down to you. Yeah. Um, so we'll move, we move very quickly. The other thing, of course, to mention is when we build our inventory units, we option them up quite highly, uh, but we don't necessarily put everything in to them. So we sort of pre-build them with the, with the idea in mind that you may want to add some options. So you do have the option, um, even with an inventory unit, to add things. Yeah. So the, so you look at an inventory unit, maybe it has some things that you you know you don't need, but it has some things you do you really want. Typically taking things off is not a good idea. Yeah. Um, leaves holes or marks or whatever it might be, but there are certain things we can add on. So that can push a person from you know one three weeks to three weeks and then you can organize delivery. But if you're three weeks out, we can organize delivery kind of within that time. So it can be going out uh, going out fairly quickly. However all units need to be paid for before they leave mm -hmm. shadow wag. So yeah. you've got to get your payment in. And we have to, the other part, of course, is we have to get your paperwork sorted. So if we export the unit across the border, we need to get um, your, all your details and so we can get that paperwork sorted. And that takes a little bit of time for us to, to turn around as well. So another question from uh, New York Hillbilly. And it says, when you were viewing the storage the under the dinette, I noticed what looked like a winterized T-valve with the hose for RV antifreeze. Yes. Uh, is this correct? And if so, is the standard on all trailers? Jolie, will you answer that question for us, please? I believe she got it a little bit. She's got ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So she'll do that. Dinette U-shape is an option in this trailer, for sure. So it's a standard in the 21NE, mm -hmm. and it's an option in the in the 21 class, just because the 21NE is, is already a very, very large dinette. So putting a U-shape into it, because it's so large already, um, it kind of works exceptionally well. Yeah. Uh, we also had a question from someone, uh, Daryl Reposted, says, Hi, can you show, uh, this is from uh, the Allison Sin, uh, Hi, can you show me how the door latches open and how the screen door works? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll work our way back out. And I'm going to do that. I did do that yesterday, but extensively on the Escape 19, which we were on the, on, on the Escape 21 as well. We'll go and do that. Sherman Case, hi, good to see you. Um, we were chatting last night on on email how can we see the upholstery laminate and flooring options so we do have them up on the website but we will also send you samples so if you're interested um just contact us and we'll we'll send the sample pack down to you with little swatches of a, of um the different samples of those floorings and things that we have so we can send that to you we'll mail it to you then you can actually see it and feel it yeah. which is i think important especially when it comes to the fabric side you want to it's to see and feel more maybe more so the feel side of yeah. side of things yeah Good. Very good. So let's go and show um, and show this person. I can't. I didn't see who it Allison. Was. Allison. Oh, okay. So let's go show Allison the the door. And I think we'll pretty much be finished. So what we'll do is, oh, Tom Thomas Burt is on. Oh, the winner of yeah, our well, merchandise. So we still have. I don't think have we has Tom on the side. Oh, maybe he hasn't seen what merchandise yeah, are available to him. So Tom, you still get to choose your your merchandise, and that brings up a good point. Um. That brings up a good point. So the winner from... So we have, let me find it here. So I'll kind of turn to myself very quickly. You see me there? Okay. Okay, I'll get you here. All right. right. So our first winner was Thomas Burt. So I, I believe we've been in contact with you. Our second was uh, Dallas Lane. Won on the second day. And yesterday's winner was um, Amanda Summerhill. So I don't know if you're watching. Uh, it, we will email you. Um, for you, so we can get in contact with you and get your address and everything. Uh, and that's uh, this is a good time for that. This is because of our survey. So uh, we'll post it right now. We'll post it at the end. The survey that we'd ask you to complete. Obviously, we had some technical difficulties today, but um, you know the survey is really really important because it allows us to kind of see what we can do better and what you guys would like to see from us. So it's really important that you guys fill that and you can you'll, you will also be entered to win a shirt and for this week where we're doing the trial period of live streams, you will get to we will be having a winner every single day and we'll announce them the next day. So 
are really good. good. And we've been taking a lot of feedback and we've been rolling it through every single day and it really, really helps us out. Thank you, Harrison. I was almost giving you the Oscars, uh, the Oscars music there. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done, young man. Very nicely. Oh, okay. So Taz1005, that is our winner from yesterday. Congratulations. Congratulations, Alice. Allison, wasn't it? Oh, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda Summerhill was Amanda from yesterday. Sorry, and then Dallas earlier. day before. Yeah, Amanda. So well done. Yes, you won. So you get your choice of anything from our merchandise. Escape is all about choice. We're all about choice. Well done. You're learning very well. Okay, good. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at that door. And then we're probably going to close this off. So let's just say, anyone have any quick questions before I before I get going? We had from A Watts Banjo, winterization access under the dinette bench. Yeah, so Joel is going to get back to you on that. And if not, then we'll send you some more details on that later, for sure. Okay, let's go have a look at the, the, the swing door area. I'll let you go out. And again, we get to see that lovely sliding. Really, really helpful for getting in and out. Okay. All right, so main door, screen door. So for screen door, it closes and opens. And show from the inside but obviously the latch on the inside i can pop is in this latch on the inside there carl yeah show that so is there and you can pop the latch if needs be very good thank you and if the whole assembly is closed this is your exit and your lock so you can see you can the lock there and you have the access here very good thank you harrison Nice work. So I think that should cover it, I and mean, it is as simple as that. So it's not a very complicated uh, door to, to manage and to and to work on. Very good. Okay, so one thing, one sort of final couple of things we want to mention. Um, at the moment we're doing, well actually we're, this, this will persist for quite some time here. So delivery, we have great delivery rates into the US at the moment. You can get all the way to Florida for three for $3,000 US. And, you know, as uh, Tom Martin said to me today, in terms of your you know, true cost of, of driving, if you were to take the government, the government's rate of whatever it is, 50 something cents per, per mile, you can be sure that it probably costs more. <laughs> if that's what they're allow you on taxes, it probably costs more. So if you calculate your costs, costs to come to this way, I think you'll find delivery is a great option. Now, one thing I am doing, we're gonna start this on Friday. It'll be our first one, so it might be a little glitchy as we move through it, but I'm planning to do live stream orientations. We're going to reach back to all our customers from the beginning of March who unfortunately missed out on orientations. Um, I'm going to do a live stream orientation and we'll, we'll, we'll probably do it in some of the showroom, in the showroom units or in our little orientation room that we have back there. So the strategy there being is you can collect, take your trailer, take your delivery, get your trailer to your home, to your area, then come on with us. Do the live stream orientations. You can participate in as many live stream orientations as you want. Um, become fully familiar with the trailer and its workings through the live stream orientations where you can ask the chat and we'll have a, an after sale specialist on there to answer the questions and take you through. And, and then you know, you'll absorb the information so much quicker, I believe, that way. You know, our experience with all the people who've come up here, for me certainly over the last year and a half, has been that although we do an extensive orientation with people here, most people are concerned about, their, about hitching up, driving off and setting up for the first night. And a lot of the information we try to give, it just doesn't sink in because the mind is sort of full of all the other stuff the person has to do. I find there's a lot of value because you can watch it before you pick it up, you can watch it after, before, you can uh, and ask you can questions. Ask, ask all the questions that, that you want. And then you can follow along inside your, with your manual as well at the same time. It's a similar format to kind of what we're doing here. Yeah, so. it's, it's kind of like, just, it's like going to a classroom. It may be the best, you know, maybe the best way to say it. So that's something I, I really want to announce. I think that's going to be very important for people moving towards. Particularly at the moment, the border is still closed. The restrictions are still in place a lot across a lot of large part of the country. Even when things lift, nobody knows what's going to happen then down the road. So I think this move from an escape, from an escape's perspective, to get your trailer to you uh, from the delivery side of things, and then you know support you on the live stream, I think is a really good move. You know towards saying you can have your trailer, get fully educated in your home, 
and go on your camping trip. Of course, it does. I have no objection at all to anybody coming up to the state. We love to have our customers, customers here to collect their trailers and then go on their way. And for some people, it's a big adventure. Come collect a trailer and then go on a on a camping trip. So obviously, we're not taking that away from anybody at all. Okay. And last thing is financing, right? So Samuel is my financing specialist right. here. So that's um, on the Canadian side. On the US side, we work with New Coast. So you can get uh, a finance application done online. Find this on our webpage. Uh, for Canadian customers, we have a special offer at the moment. Uh, over five years, 1.99% uh, interest rate on a proof of credit. Uh, we also do a 10 year one. Um, we can go more into detail if that's something you're, you're interested. Give me a call or again, book me and we can walk you through that one. Yeah, we were kind of looking at like, you know, the stock market is taking a bit of a hit and people may want to conserve some cash. So especially from a Canadian perspective and the same thing kind of goes from a, a US perspective and the rules are to tighten up, but at the moment we're still, it's still available. Um, yeah, the 1.99% over, over five years, so it's amortized over five years, yeah. which means essentially you can pay that trailer off over the five year period. And then the 2.99% gives you a much lower rate per month rate, but it's amortized over 10 years. The term is five years, so you'd be Absolutely. renegotiating after the after the five years with the bank, but certainly you get your 2.99% for the first, the first five years with that 10 year amortization. That brings the rates down to yes. something, very, uh, something very nice indeed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so guys. Survey one on ones. Surveys and one on ones. Yes. <laughs> all the closing <laughs> credits. We should have ads. <laughs> That'll be, be the next thing. Well, thanks so. so much for all your feedback. It's so so encouraging to get your um your feedback whenever we, we yeah. talk to you in person over the phone over the one on one. Tell us what you like. What we can do better. We we really love that. Yeah, we want the as much criticism or improvement yeah. ideas, constructive criticism, as we can get. So, survey form link will be on here. Fill out the survey form, send it in to us to get yourself a, a nice piece of escape merchandise. And then up with Samuel for a one on one. Thank you very much, everybody. It's goodbye Thank from you. Samuel. Goodbye from me, Escape Trader. Built just for you.